Hello, hello. Kim and Gus here with some breaking news about a criminal investigation against Tim Ballard. It's been a while since we've had any breaking news involving Tim, and I still have a backlog of information I need to do videos on. But since I was apprised of this last night, I thought I would wait till this morning to do it. I almost put on my makeup, changed my clothes, to do a video last night, but I thought, you know, I need some sleep. We'll do this in the morning. So, KSL has a written copy of their report, and it's titled, Woman Suing Tim Ballard Files Police Report Accusing Him of S.A. Linden police have confirmed that they, they have opened a criminal investigation of Operation Underground Railroad founder and former CEO Tim Ballard. A woman filed a police report against Ballard alleging the anti-sex trafficking activist S. Aid her. The woman contacted Linden police November 1st to report an assault. According to an initial police report obtained by KSL through an open records request, the record outlines that a police report was made but doesn't include any specifics or evidence about what the woman says occurred. The meeting was set with a detective for the next day, the report says. I have forwarded the case to investigations for the interview. Linden Police Chief Mike Broward confirmed the department is investigating. We have received a complaint and we are opening an investigation, he said. Ballard was accused of sexual misconduct in a pair of civil lawsuits last month by six anonymous women and one man. So we know there's two civil lawsuits, one by five women and one by a married couple. Um, Suzette Rasmussen, an attorney for those seven, confirmed it was one of her clients who came forward to Linden Police, though she did not pro provide more information. I'm really hoping the woman who stepped forward and filed the complaint is the one that in her statement, as I'm reading it, there was definitely S.A. that occurred. And I was really hoping she did what she needed to to have Ballard investigate it. The woman is the first person to file a police report against Ballard. Ballard has previously denied all accusations of sexual misconduct, dismissing them as false and baseless inventions designed to destroy me and the movement we have built to end the trafficking and exploit exploitation of vulnerable children. That's great, but what about the vulnerable women that he used for his Couples ruse. The Spear Fund, for which Ballard serves as a senior advisor and which has previously issued, issued statements on his behalf, issued a statement Thursday evening, saying Ballard has not been informed of a criminal complaint or been contacted by law enforcement. The fact that a purported criminal complaint has been leaked to the media is even further evidence of the true intent behind the charade, Ken Krogh, Spear Fund president, said in a statement. It is designed to stir up a media frenzy to harm the reputation of Mr. Ballard and to impede his and others' efforts to fight the sex trafficking industry. Krogh noted that citizens cannot initiative a criminal investigation, they can only submit complaints to law enforcement. And it does say initiative here, but I think he means initiate. The fact that one of the women supposedly realized that they were victimized by a crime raises questions as to their credibility and intentions that will be answered in the pending litigation, he said. 
Well, if there's no charge, I mean, they filed the complaint. If there's no charges, there's not litigation unless Tim Ballard is going to reach out against her. Um, <clears throat> Although it's unclear how far along the investigation is, Utah County Prosecutor Jeff Grace on Thursday said his office has not received the case from police. He said if Linden police determine they have enough evidence, they'll pass the case along to be reviewed for potential charges. Once police have determined whether or not they believe there's probable cause or enough evidence to pursue the case, they'll present it to our office, he said. Then we'll review it. They'll also have the officer there and discuss the case discuss basically to determine whether the evidence is sufficient to support the charges and then at that point that we'll do or what we'll do is make the determination and either file or decline so that's the latest on this one I really hope that the police report was filed by the woman who's I'm reading her statement and I'm like, honey, that's essay. You need to file. So hopefully that's the one who did. Um, Cause she's the one who in her statement, she clearly was a victim. Um, so the link to the report, the KSL report, is in the description as well as the link to the video from KSL on YouTube um, that shows one of their reporters reporting on this. Um, but yeah, it just keeps getting deeper and deeper and there's a whole lot going on. So we will talk to you later because I have a whole bunch more information to give not on this particular portion of the Tim Ballard three ring circus but on Tim Ballard okay thanks have a great day and remember like share subscribe and comment those of you who have comment commented already you know I replied to the comments um we can have a conversation you can let me know what you think of this um, and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, thanks. Have a great day.